Trash fishing update, day two of the California run. I'm out in California selling boats, eight boat proof vests, and uh, while I'm out here, I'm trying to do as much trash fishing as I can, because it's winter back in Detroit, but it doesn't feel like winter out here. So uh, the boat I'm staying on has a kayak, that red one over there. It's actually got this green one too. If you're in the neighborhood, look me up. And uh, this morning I went out and I found a uh, mat, must have come off of someone's dock or deck or boat or whatever and a big sponge and a little bit of trash. And then this afternoon I found a bit of a honey hole. The wind had blown like all this trash. It's uh, chip bags and wrappers and just little pieces of, you know, cellophane. And um, the guy Chris from coastalclean.org called anything clear you find in the water, he called it a Richmond jellyfish. So there's a lot of jellyfish out there today. So, um, you know, folks, these aren't, no one's being mean when they, when this stuff ends up in the water. It's really just mistakes. Things blow off the boat or blow off your car or blow off the street um, so let's not fault the people that littered I mean we're probably all done lost control of something at, at one time point in our life but if you get a chance go out there and grab some trash and get it out of the waterways because uh, it's kind of a fun thing to do you never know what you're gonna find and it's always a good time to be out on the water so I'm Tom from trashfishing.com I uh, hope you can attend any of our events we're having this year or if you're doing some trash fishing on your own, post about it on our page. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks.